Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Eric or Hazardous and welcome back to episode 2 of Behind the Scenes with Hazardous. If you haven't checked out episode 1 yet, then make sure to do so by clicking on the screen right now or click the link down in the description below. So in episode 1, I went through some of the equipment that I used to make my videos. Now in today's video, we're going to take a closer look on how I record and edit some of my videos as well as some other awesome stuff. So if you guys do enjoy the episode, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and yeah, let's begin today's episode. <laughs> Okay, so as I said in the previous episode, I used the Elgato Game Capture HD to capture all my footage from my PlayStation 4 or my Xbox 360. And then on my PC, I used Game Capture HD, which basically comes with your Elgato. And here are my settings. As you can see, I use HDMI, 1080p, and I almost go full quality. And um, I don't change anything with the brightness or contrast, and that is basically everything that I do. Okay, so in most of my videos, I use a face cam in the top right corner, and the software that I use to capture all my webcam footage into my PC is Open Broadcaster software, also known as OBS. And here are the settings that I use for my webcam. I use the Logitech C920, and I also record in 1280x720p, just because I make the webcam so small, so I don't really need to record in 1080p, because as I said, I scale down the footage so much, so it doesn't really matter if you're using 720p or 1080p. And then you just hit record, and then you're good to go. Okay, so the program that I use to edit pretty much all of my videos is Sony Vegas Pro 12. And this is pretty much how one of my videos looks like when it's fully finished. This is all with the game footage, the game audio, the webcam, and music, added sound effects, added video effects, and stuff like that. Now what you may notice is that my video preview is really really small, um, since I use so many layers when I edit. So to fix this, you can actually drag out the video preview window and then place it somewhere else so you can use quite a few layers and also get a pretty big video preview. But you might be wondering where the heck should I place this window without blocking the video layers. So basically, that is when having two monitors comes into place. So what you can do is simply drag this window into your other monitor, then you can make it bigger and this makes it really really easy to work with many layers and also have a big preview at the same time without having to scroll through all of your layers and basically get lost in what you're doing. <laughs> Now sometimes when I want to use a bit more advanced effects, I switch over to After Effects CS6 and use that, but I'm not really that good with this program yet, so I'm still trying to learn like everything you can do within this program. Okay, so I make my thumbnails in Photoshop CS5 and the resolution that I use when I make them is 640 uh, by 360, which is basically 1280 divided in two, so that you still get the right dimensions for a thumbnail. And I also like to keep my thumbnails as clean and simple as possible without any text or anything like that. I just add a good looking frame from the video, place that in and then just add some effects and then you have a finished thumbnail. And just a little tip is to not use text in your thumbnail because you really don't need it, trust me guys. As you can see here, I added top five stunts in my thumbnail, but when you make it smaller, you really can't tell what's going on in your thumbnail so just stick to a good freeze frame that looks good and just explains the whole video in one single frame and then you should be good to go. Okay, so the place that I found most of my music is on the YouTube page, No Copyright Sounds. These guys upload super good songs that are free to use, and you can monetize the videos as well as long as you discredit the creator of the song. You can use pretty much anything you want from this channel. I will make sure to leave a link down below so you guys can check out the channel. But yeah, so that was basically a quick overview on how I record and edit my videos in post-production. If you guys want to learn something within these programs, there are tons and tons of tutorials right here on YouTube, which is the place where I learn to do all of my editing. So just look around for some nice tutorials and you should be able to learn these programs pretty easy. So that's going to be it for today's video guys. If you did enjoy it then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you guys want to see some more of this then make sure to tell me down in the comments what you guys would like to see some behind the scenes of and yeah I will try my best to make a video of it. But that's going to be it for today as I said so I'll see you guys later. So until then take care and let's drop that beat. <laughs>